All right, let me get this uh, audio going here. So you said you have earbuds in? Um, yeah, but they weren't working the right way. Oh, that's why I couldn't hear you. Okay. Well, it's not bad, actually. Your your sound, you know, as long as I can't hear myself through your phone, then it's good, which I can't. So we're that's good me. to go. Great. Welcome, dude. Yeah. How are you? Good, man. Look at you. You're gonna. You're about to fucking stab yourself on the on the uh, podcast here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not that sharp, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it one of the uh, fake ones you take for um, melee weapon or something? Uh, no, it's real metal. It just doesn't really have like an edge mm. on it, but it doesn't point. Yeah, that's like a dagger. Yeah. Pointy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yep. So welcoming, like I said, what's your, um, what is your call sign? Um, I don't really have one yet. I'm still trying to figure it out. Well, what is your, uh, Instagram Huddy? Yep. You should make that your call sign, bro. That's catchy. Yeah. I was going to put that on my Jersey, but my teammates had to give me some questionable choices. <laughs> okay. Yep. I mean, so I, I can see that, but like you coming off the field. Hell yeah, Huddy. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds better when you say it, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. So what's up, dude? You you are in... Um, you play in Florida, is that right? Uh, yep, at Legion Airsoft. In CIA. Nice. Okay, CIA Tampa. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah, I saw on your uh, Instagram you had uh, a couple of pictures with some guys at that field, I think. Yeah. That I recognize, yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. And what is the, uh, what's the team that you're trying out for? Are you, are you on the team yet? Um, I'm, I was put on a prospect, so I'm going to the practices until my ARP starts working, then they can gauge my skills, I'm guessing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you got an ARP 9. Yep, I can grab it. Yeah, let's see it. So this is it. Dude! That looks awesome. Thank you. Um, Holy shit. What did you do to it? Uh, it has a Mac Customs carbon drop stock. Uh, signed by SRJ Urista. What? Yep. How, when did you meet him? Um, at regionals for Speak UV. No shit. Okay. I got a Polar Star 2 in it. I'm ordering a bull gear because I'm having some feeding issues right now. And it has a black leaf trigger board and a IGL. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that is definitely the probably the most unique looking ARP9 I've seen so far. Appreciate it. Yeah, dude, that's cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. So how long you been uh, on that team or prospecting for that team? Um, Only about a week because I was on another team, but I kind of left them. Oh, okay. After regionals. So I'm trying to find some new guys to play Speaky Bean and NSL with, and they're upcoming. They're called DTP. Um, they're so they're really good. Um, what does that stand for? DDP or DTP? Disturbing the peace. Disturbing the peace. Nice. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are so you're looking for a team to play the NSL tournaments. Yeah. Hell yeah! That's mm -hmm. awesome. Now, who do you follow? Do you follow anyone uh, that I've had on the podcast already, like Houdini and these guys, these other speed softers? Um, I follow most of the guys. One of my friends, Lucky Seven, was on last week, I think. Yes. Okay. Maybe that's where I found your. Maybe that's where I found you. Was uh, maybe a comment that you made with uh, with him or something like that? Because uh, yeah, I just had him on Saturday. Awesome. Yeah, I think I DM'd you after I saw that or something like that. That's right. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Hell yeah. Well, listen, uh, and, and for anyone, let me, uh, let me say something real quick because I just recently set up a, um, a booking feature on my website where anyone that wants to join the podcast or be a guest on here, uh, can go to my website and you click on the, uh, book online and then request something request a book booking or something like that and uh and basically you can look at the calendar on there and any blue dots are days that i have available and somebody could click on there and then sign up 
uh, at their convenience. And then I, I'll see it and then we can, uh, you know, I think it'll work out better that I think it's going to work out better that way. I just did that like um, a few days ago, like pa this past weekend. So uh, I hadn't had it up when I talked with you. So you and I, you know, scheduled this through Instagram or maybe yeah. Discord. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it was Insta. Yeah, it was Insta because I just asked you what your uh, – um, Discord what your Discord handle was. I was like, I'm scrolling through looking like uh, like the day that you joined, you know, on the welcome thing. And I'm going, I'm looking for Huddy or Hudson. And I'm like, I don't see it. I don't see anything. And then you sent me, a, it was uh, Grumpy Breads. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that? Um, it was an old Xbox username. And it was my first like call sign. So, <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Your first gamer tag or whatever. Yeah. Dude, my first gamer tag um, was uh, years and years and years before you were born. Uh, I was playing PC games, and um, it was Sniper for You. You know, the sniper and then the, the number four and then a the letter U. That was my original one. And then I carried that over onto Xbox. And then I, I didn't play for a very long time because uh, I was working a lot of overtime and stuff. And when I got back on a few years ago... Uh, I couldn't remember what it was and all that. So I had to change my, my, uh, gamer tag. And now I just have it as E rock with some stuff in, you know, in front and back, whatever. But, um, yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Cause E rock was taken and, uh, I'm like, so then I just, you know, it's one of those things where I just kept adding letters in the front and back until it was available, you know? Mm hmm so what kind of uh what kind of games you play right now um it's kind of funny i got robbed a couple weeks ago just burglarized oh, but i was shit. playing yeah i was playing fortnite and like gta before that oh my god that sucks dude yeah a little bit what, did somebody break into your guys's house mm -hmm. they didn't take any of the guns though oh my jesus mm -hmm. that's messed up man okay so they took your Xbox. Yep. Bastards. And, um, they took a Mac computer, and they also mm. took a twenty-two rifle, like a real one. Gotcha. Yeah, that's... I'll bet your parents were pissed. Yep. Okay, shit, man. Yeah, well... Yeah, that, uh, that happened to one of the airsofters I've had on here a couple times, actually. Um, call sign Tonka. He's in Florida as well, and his garage got broken into, and he had, I don't know how much stuff it was, but it was a ton of stuff, like uh, airsoft stuff. Yeah, but I remember. Was, you know, he, do you remember seeing that? Yeah, I was on um, Facebook, I think. Okay. Bro. Yeah, I felt so bad for him, but he's starting to get some of his stuff back now. Yeah, it's pretty good. Hell yeah. There's also a kid named Call Sign Tonk, Arizona, I think. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Like my oh, age. Oh, okay. Well, you're what? A uh, young teenager, right? Yeah, I'm 13. 13? Okay. Yep. Well, how long have you been in Airsoft? When did you get into Airsoft? Um, I've been playing for two years, and I've been playing competitive speed to be for one. Mm. Damn, that's yeah. awesome, dude. Um, I have all... Every time I go to a speak to be championship, I keep, like, the wristband. So I have collection so far. Four. Oh, check it out. Yep. Oh, that's awesome. Well, let's see your patch wall. Hmm? What you got going on in your patch wall there? Yeah. Um, I got the regional patch. Yep. And I also got the ATF patches from a couple of events. Um, oh, that's awesome. An SS Airsoft patch from the trip. The miscellaneous ones. When were you at uh, SS? I don't even remember. It was a while ago. Oh, okay. Were you there for the... I was there for the Call of Duty event. I was there when I was, like, still into Milsom. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's cool, man. Yeah. They, um, and I have... I'm kind of in distress. I'm going get it out real quick. I have an SSG vector, and it, it's, it acts like a DSG. It's really fast. I'm selling it to some dude for 900. What? Uh, it's one of 3,000 ever made. We can't get him. What? Holy shit, dude. That looks awesome. Thanks. Excuse me, monkey doctor. I was looking for that. 
Um, oh, and I have one of the luckiest patches. Oh my god! I didn't even know he made patch, bro. We were talking for a while, and he didn't even tell me he had patches. Okay. I'm still trying to get some though. Hell yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank. You. Now, um, have you guys played together? Like uh, played airsoft together? You and uh, Lucky? Oh yeah, we play all the time. No shit. Okay. Let me reset it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Man, so uh, now were you into uh, any other hobbies or anything before you got into airsoft? Um, not really. No, I started airsoft in sixth grade, and I was kind of a nerd, so uh, nothing else. <laughs> you uh, were you into sports at all? Uh, nothing like this. Yeah. Okay. You didn't play any sports for school, like basketball, football, baseball, whatever. Okay. Nope. So how did you get into airsoft? Um, I was probably scrolling through YouTube and saw a couple of Novridge videos and got hooked. Novridge, bro. That is like, uh, yeah. Him, all the big YouTubers have uh, probably got more people in airsoft than anyone else on the planet. Yep. You know? <laughs> Hell yeah. I have a couple of Novridge guns. I had the SSP-1, which got taken by someone. I had a sniper, and it was horrible. And I have an SSC 18 right now, which is, it's fun, but it's having feeding issues. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, so you run the, uh, the G and G for like tournaments and stuff. Is that your main, main one you run? Yeah, I run this and I have an APO one. Oh, Two. nice. Mm -hmm. You use that as your sidearm? Yeah, I use that whenever I'm trying to play snake. And I had like a really big stock with this. And it was like yeah. it was like a stubby stock, and it went out to here, and it was like five pounds, way too heavy. So I switched to carbon fiber, so I'm able to dive with it now. Dude, that's wild. Yeah, well, it's a good thing you HPA'd it because uh, you know there's nowhere to fit a battery in that thing. <laughs> but in NSL, you're not allowed to run HPA. That's what one of my guys was telling me. That has to be HPA or AG. No, ha you know what I mean. It has to be HPA. It has to be uh, AEGs. It, no, it has to be HPA. AEGs aren't allowed. Oh, no kidding. It's a weird rule, but... Hmm. For NSL, yeah, okay. Yeah, that is wild. Well, I've heard I've heard a couple different rules, uh, or, you know, somebody was telling me some of the differences, and uh, I, didn't, I don't remember hearing that one. The other one was... Um, what was it? Uh, oh, for, like the flag or whatever you don't run and try to get the flag the teams one team starts with it yeah it's kind of like football with guns yeah right mm -hmm. yeah you try to get the flag or get everybody out or something like that right mm -hmm. yeah you have to get the flag and there's like three brackets and you start off at the front but i don't know the complete rule set but if you run and you get it to the second bracket you'll get like 15 points in the third bracket you'll get 30 or something okay. and if you hit the wall you win that's uh that's right houdini was was ex, uh was telling me about that was explaining mm -hmm. that okay yeah and and an uh, nsl point or kills don't matter but in speak of you there were five points but in nsl there were zero it's all about the flag oh okay yeah oh that's wild so have you guys been like the team that you're prospecting for? Have you guys been practicing like with those rules? Yeah. So you can get used to every weekend. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Bro, you're running and gunning for that stuff. Like how what are you, what uh, field do you guys go to to practice? Tampa, uh, CIA? In Tampa, but I live in Orlando. Yeah. So it's a two hour drive and we have to be there by eight. Holy shit. Yeah. Bro, you're getting up early at what do you do on Saturdays? Yep. So your your mom or dad takes you over there, drives two hours? Yep. And they hang out at the field and just wait for you? Mm-hmm. Holy sh... Dude, that is awesome, man. You yeah. got some good parents. Yeah, I got a really good dad. <laughs> That's awesome, man. My mom doesn't let me do the stuff. She hates it. <laughs> Really? Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, I don't want to see the guns. I don't want to see all that stuff. 
Yeah, whenever we're at the dinner table and I'm trying to talk about it, she'll just like cut me off. <laughs> she doesn't want you to get hurt, bro. You know? Mm-hmm. That's how moms are. I got scars all up on my or- arm from like the diving and BBs. Oh, right. shit. See, you can't show your mom that, bro. Nope. She's going to be like, all right, that's it. You, you see, you're getting hurt. I told you you're going to get hurt. Yeah, that's how moms are, man. Um, on my nail, I got shot. There's my camera with a BB. Oh yeah, see. I see it. It like Ooh. bruised in one part and it like bled in the other and they like blue color. <laughs> yeah. Did you post that on Discord? Did you see the daily question today about getting hit, getting hurt playing airsoft? Oh yeah, with your hand. Yeah. There, well, a bunch of people posted the pictures of their own, like their hand, their finger, and stuff. Yeah, that looked yeah. Like hurt. Yeah, the one I posted. I mean, that was. I wasn't playing airsoft, so that was just me standing there when my son, you know, uh, just unloaded a whole mag on it. You know, I told him to. He didn't want to. Um, So, yeah. (laughs) Uh, I'm not the brightest, okay? I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but the – I didn't – I really didn't think airsoft hurt. I was like, there's no way it hurts. So, uh, because I played paintball years ago. And paintballs are heavy, and those things hurt, man. Um, you know, you get welts and bruises and stuff. So I'm like, there's no way these little plastic BBs hurt. They're not, they're not going that fast. So, uh, 150 miles per hour. Bro, it was uh, – we were using point twos because we were testing it out, and it was um, shooting at 380, 380 FPS. And uh, he full autoed. And I was like, just put it on full auto, dump the whole mag. It'll be fine. I bet I'll barely feel it, and um, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, yep. I mean, a paintball it like compresses when you get shot with it, but a BB will stay the same shape. Oh, same shape. dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And especially when you're laying down, you get twelve BBs in your head. It's a little <laughs> different, but <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I. Uh... Yeah, I've seen these guys that, um, in fact, some of the people that have wrote on this uh, question or answered the question today with, uh, you know, getting shot, they've gotten shot in the head, like in the forehead. And it said it almost like it feels like it got punched in the face, you know? Yeah. That's so wild. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you, do you wear a dye mask when you play? Uh, yeah, I wear a dye mask. I wear this, an infamous t-shirt and infamous um, all condition pants. Nice. There you go. So yep. you'll still feel getting hit, but you won't get too many welts. Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. Now, what about the back of your head and the top of your head? Um, a bunch of guys on the CIA like home team that wear bum caps for construction workers, so it's like hard. Like, but I use a beanie, so can still feel it. Gotcha. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it probably gets hot as hell. Hmm. I Man, I'm hot right now. In. <laughs> <laughs> Especially being in Florida, like in the summertime, if you guys play, I mean, um, you're not in the sun, you're not outside in the sun, but it's, I'm sure it's hot and humid there. Yeah, but it's like greenhouse g- gases inside the building. Exactly. Plus you all run around, you know, going crazy, you know, breathing heavy with your hot ass breath, you know? And you can't really breathe in the mask either. Mm-mm. Yeah, I've wore those before. I wore something similar when I played paintball. And, uh, you know, you run around. It's... Now, luckily, the one I wore was similar to the dye mask. And the dye mask, they don't really uh, fog up, you know, yeah. which is good. But, yeah, your face gets hot as shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I, I'm always, like, looking at paintball stuff on Instagram. And, like, their moves aren't, like, as clean as BQB. Because I'll see them dive and they'll, like, cut through the grass, kind of. Right. Yeah. Dude, they're so messy. That's what I'm saying. It is just, you know, I I follow a bunch of Inst- or, uh, Instagram pages for um, paintball, and I always see the the video clips. You know, they run to the first uh, bunker, you know, uh, inflatable or whatever, and they're pa 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 pa, and they grab a tube, and they you know they're not looking, they just grab it and they go to dump it and they miss, and they grab another one, you know, and like half of it goes in the hopper. I'm like, dude, we y'all just, you know, this shit. <laughs> How, are you getting paintballs for free or something? Because I mean, that's what happens when you don't pay for paint. Oh God! And then that shit is just everywhere. 
just paint everywhere. And isn't there some, like, X-Ball rule where you can't, like, put a pod down? You have to use all of it. No shit. I don't know. I don't fuck people. There's not much. Oh, that's wild. Okay. But well, yeah, these dudes. Uh, the <clears throat> videos I've seen that I don't know if it's you know what games it you know what games they're playing or what if it's a tournament or not. But they're uh, they'll dump it and then they just drop it. You know, they dump it and drop it, dump it or throw it. You know, <laughs> the pods. Like holy shit, bro. But um, in Kissimmee, it was like the world's biggest X-Ball tournament, and there were like four thousand teams or something. It's crazy. Damn. Yeah. Jesus. Um, it was called NXL, which at NSL is kind of ripping it off, but Right. Yeah, NSL. Well, isn't NSL um what does that stand for? Netherlands Speed Soft League, I think. I thought it was National Speed Soft League. National Speed Lo- Oh, okay. I know CSL is competitive speed league. PQB is just PQB. Right. Uh yeah, so because I know that they're that NSL is from the Netherlands, but yeah, maybe it is national. Yeah, National Speed Soft League. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be fun, man. Once that, are you guys going to that uh, first tournament in January, like in a couple weeks? In Indiana. Yeah. I mean, I want to go, but I'm gonna see if I can come. Yeah, yeah. Just I can't really like go alone, you know. Well, sure. But I mean, you're going to be. How long do you think you'll be a part of that team before then? Um, I will tell. They don't. You don't know yet, like how long you'll you'll be a prospect. Yeah, I don't know for certain. Okay. What's but the there, process? There's another Florida team called NSL. And they're like the reigning champs till CIA came. I think they're about balanced now. But I got invited to some of the LSA practices, so I'm going to practice with them and DTP. Damn. Okay. So now, what's your uh, favorite zi- uh, position? Do you run front or snake or what? I like playing really forward. That's why I got like a little gun. So I like to play the flag or I like to play snake or elbow. Gotcha. Okay. So you're up in the front mostly. Yeah, definitely. Hell yeah. Okay. Running and sliding and diving and all that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> awesome. The thing with playing anchor is that I always keep my elbow out, but when I'm at a low barrier, I can just jump. Ah, uh, okay. Yep. You, you're chicken winging? Yep. <laughs> one of my old teammates, Um, it's on the team Instagram, but when he was shooting, he used to shoot like this. Yeah. Like all out. And I'll just keep like my like shoulder out, kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, are you, uh, when you play, have you ever taking like a GoPro and videoed oh, yeah, I got and all that? A bunch of GoPro videos. Okay. Where do you post them? Uh, nowhere. I'm just too lazy to post them or download. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. <laughs> yeah. And I got um, a Hero 3, which was made in like 2011. Yeah. That's about camera quality of a toaster. Oh, dude, it's bad. <laughs> we uh, I still have a Hero 3 in the uh, box back here. We have like So I think we have, well, we have two Hero 8s blacks. Those are, you know, those are still good. And then uh, we have two, I don't even know what they're called. Uh, Akaso is what they're called. Oh, it's like the GoPro competitor. Yes, it's like uh, the cheaper, cheap, like the cheapest version of GoPro you could get. So it's an action cam set up, you know, pretty much just like a GoPro. Yeah. um, And if you're outside... And we, you know, we've used them a handful of times. If you're outside and there's a uh, really good sunlight and all that kind of stuff, it is, uh, the quality is good. Now, if you're running, it's not that good. Um, if you're anywhere in the shadows, like under a tree or, uh, inside for sure is total shit because the light sensor in it is not very good at all. I thought the new ones were pretty good at that. Are they? Yeah, mm-hmm. so we, we bought the Acasos. We bought the first couple months we started our YouTube channel, which was like three and a half years ago. And um, and then we and then we just started buying uh, GoPros after that. So, 
Yeah, and that's all we had so far. We have uh, a Hero 3, I mean a GoPro 3, and then two of those Akasos. I think that's it. And then the two 8s, you know, Hero 8s. Nice. Yeah. yeah, those are good. Is the podcast like a job or is it just like a hobby? This is a hobby. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Uh, so right now, um, you know, I don't make money on it. Uh, the, uh, the channel like for YouTube and stuff, bro, nobody watches this stuff. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, this is, uh, so we were doing, I don't know if you've, if you've seen videos on our channel, but we started three and a half years ago doing, uh, unboxings. So mystery boxes. So you, I'm sure you've heard of the, uh, Evike, uh, box of awesomeness, right? Yeah. So when I first heard about this, uh, one, the guy, the best friend of my sons that got them into playing airsoft, he, uh, he's like, he's telling us about all these, you know, Hey, you, you know, there's these mystery boxes you can get. Uh, it's called, uh, a box of awesomeness. I was like, what? I don't care what it is. I want it. I mean, that sounds like cool, you know? So, um, so then we started getting those and doing the unboxings and then the guns we would get out of there. Uh, we would start doing reviews on and that that was like mostly on our channel that was mostly what we had on our channel for uh for a long time and then a year ago everybody got busy myself included and we stopped doing videos and then uh and then it was really hard to get everyone together again for uh, unboxing so i started the podcast um kind of just like hey i want to put up a video I don't know what the you know what video to put up so and uh, i was already starting to talk with people on our discord so um i was like oh i'll just record it and throw it up here and see what happens and that's what i did yeah nice yeah dude but yeah so it is a hobby it's uh i work uh, my full-time job is uh construction so i do um i flip houses so you know these old rundown houses or whatever i go in and uh and clean everything out and then put all new stuff in and paint and put cabinets in and renovations. toilets. Yeah. Renovations. Yep. Exactly. Cool. You should right. start to be on the podcast or something. What's that? You should start char like charging to be on here. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I really enjoy doing, I really enjoy talking with people on here. Um, I guess I could like, uh, you know, I've, I've seen, well, actually, I haven't seen any of that. So I, I really just wanted to get, uh, for the Airsoft thing, I wanted to put out some content out there that was uh, consistent, right? Like every week. Um, because when I started looking up Airsoft podcasts a long time ago uh, to listen to while I was at work, um, I, it was really hard to find any that, you know, I'd, I'd listen to one and then I couldn't find, you know, like the next episode. Uh, because it would go like two weeks or three weeks or a month. Like they were really sporadic. And so, uh, I follow, goes. yeah, I follow a handful of, uh, airsoft podcasts and, um, and there, there's one that was once a week, gorilla, gorilla radio, air, uh, gorilla airsoft radio. And, um, but they don't, they only put their uh, videos or whatever, their, uh, podcasts on like Facebook live or something like that. And I don't get on Facebook. Um, it's like too cluttered for me. I just, you know, so like, anyway, uh, it, it was just hard to find a podcast that was, uh, consistent. So when I started doing these probably about, um, well, I started a year ago, but when I've really decided to do an actual podcast for here, uh, I started releasing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. And then, um, and then about two weeks before Christmas, I started releasing five a week. So every, you know, Monday through Friday, every day. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm still doing that um, every day, you know, so a podcast comes out every morning at 9 a.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. So, nice. you know, hell yeah. So um, what, uh, oh, go ahead. Um, there was um, ASAP, another serious AirPod, Airsoft podcast. But they've kind of fallen off, so. Yeah, I, I follow them. Uh, and then there's uh, there's one in the UK the guy started. I actually had him on the podcast, um, McGaz. And uh, 
his podcast, his airsoft podcast was called Balls Deep. Balls Deep Air or Balls Deep Podcast. <laughs> Balls Deep Airsoft Podcast. And then uh there's another one. Um and there's a handful of them. Well, the uh one of the guys I had on here recently, Defro Air uh Airsoft, he just started a podcast a couple months ago and he's putting them out pretty consistently as well. So I listen to those. Um, but yeah, I wanted to put out something that was really consistent. And also I like talking with people like yourself, you know, young airsofters that are, uh, pretty much starting out, um, that don't really have a big, either, you know, a big YouTube channel or a big Instagram page, uh, and pretty much just get their story out there for everybody here. So, you know, kind of like a family tree, you know, like you yeah. play with Lucky, you know, uh, I just had Lucky on that. That one actually comes out tomorrow, his podcast. So, hell yeah, man. Um, I'm just trying to get into it because I was, if, if, I, if I was thinking about it and I'm able to keep up with the guys now. So when I'm like 20, with seven more years of experience, I'm going to be like really good. Exactly. Yeah. Good for you, man. Stick with it because if you're practicing every week. Uh, at your age now, and you, you know, you're learning all the techniques and all that, uh, as you get older, especially when, yeah, when you're, you know, 18, 19, 20, um, yeah, you'll be way better than you are now. Yeah. With some experience for sure. Oh yeah. That's good. Oh. Now, do you, do you have any siblings? Do you have any brothers or sisters? None. Okay. I know about What's that? That I know about. That you know about. <laughs> right. Yeah. I gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, a lot of people I talk with, if they have a brother or sister, you know, sometimes um, they'll play, you know, they'll play together or like their family, kind of family thing, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I know Renaissance um, or whatever it's called in HTK Airsoft in Indiana. It's like one of their teams is just like their family members. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. That's cool. You know who else uh, has that is uh, Nebula. Nebula Airsoft? Yep. So there's uh, I Am Dylan and then his wife, Mama Yaga. And then um, they're like a lot of their family members are on their team of Nebula. So they're going to be playing in the uh, NSL mm -hmm. tournament. They have the team chemistry down, I guess. Yeah, Ready? right. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool, man. Well, you got uh, you got a lot to look forward to. You got uh, some cool stuff going on. You're going to be hopefully uh, making this team that you're uh, trying out for. Mm -hmm. And then going to uh, some NSL tournaments. Now, what was the other one you said? NSL and then what else? Uh, CSL and SpeakyB. Okay, so you guys do the yeah, because you're on the East Coast, so you'll do some of the CSL stuff too. Mm -hmm. Awesome, hell yeah, yeah, good deal. And I don't really care what team I'm like trying to play with. I'm just trying to get the practice right now. Yeah, that's good. That's good because uh, yeah, you. I mean, you know, things are going to change, and what I've heard so far is uh, a lot of people. You know, they'll start out on a certain team. And like yourself, you know, they'll move to another team because uh, maybe they want to get more serious into it or the team they're on wants to get more serious and maybe this one person does not. So they kind of drop back, you know, that kind of thing. It just, uh, that's very, very common, very normal. Yeah. Well, the team I was on, they had like some beef with the other team. And they were like going to choose fights. Mm. And one of the guys that was on that team went to the other team. But I got an invite to the team originally, but I declined it because I had I just wanted to hold out faith in mine. And the other good player left, so it was just a bunch of scraps. Oh, and then I left. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, that's uh that's just part of life in general, you know, with teams and stuff. Yeah. Well, listen, Huddy. Uh, you figure out. Hopefully, now what are the um, what are the options? that your team has given you for uh, call signs. Have they given you any nicknames? Uh, yeah, one of my guys said I should be break because I used to always get shot off break and my guns always break. <laughs> nice. Uh, 
The other one was Junior, which I absolutely hate because the letter, of course. letter J just sucks. Um, yeah. I may stick with this one, but I want to make like it a little like stickers with my Instagram QR code so I can stick them on my cases and like the glass like covering so that people can scan it and like go to my page. Right. I just don't want to change like the name if I'm going to get them reprinted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got you, man. All right, brother. I like break too. That's cool. Kind of. You know? Yeah, it is. And it's not the ones like SYG Young or the other kid on um, Kabuki. I don't remember his name. It was like it was like Munchkin or something. But when they oh, get shit. old, they gotta change it. But I don't have to change mine. So. Right. Exactly. Well, you know, uh, it's um, her Instagram is it's me Masher. So she's on Team Nebula with uh, I am Dylan and Mama Yaga and them. And uh, she got her nickname because she breaks her stuff too. So she mashes the trigger so much it breaks, and uh, well, at least that's how she got the nickname, you know. So, <laughs> I mean, I take good care of my guns. I don't like throw them around or anything like that. It just I have horrible luck with them. Oh, gotcha, dude. You know what's funny is uh, I was talking to your buddy uh, Lucky on Saturday, and he's like. I'm like, how did you get that name, you know, nickname? He's like, oh, you know, I just have some good luck. I, this happened, this happened, this happened. So then as we're talking, you know, we talked for a little while. As we're talking, he's going, uh, so uh, this gun, this happened, whatever. So it's not running right now. It broke. And um, I was asking about mask, you know, with his glasses, you know, like uh, fogging up and all that kind of stuff. Because he was talking about uh, BMX uh, racing. And... Um, I said, what do you do for your helmet? Like, uh, you know, do you have to, does it fog up, you know, with your glasses? Is it, oh, I don't wear my glasses because, you know, they don't, I can't see. He goes, so I just race without them. And I was like, holy shit. So then he's like, yeah. And then I did something with these ones and they broke. So his glasses broke, his gun broke, something else happened, like five things in a row. And I said, bro, you, you're not lucky at all. You should be called unlucky seven. <laughs> what? <laughs> Holy shit. That's um, funny. But whenever he's playing, he'll just dodge my BBs. Like, he'll peek his head out, and my hop up will mess up. It'll, like, go right over his head. Oh, shit. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah. a video up on my Instagram, and it's, like, it's the sound. It's, like, a missile knows where it is, but knowing where it isn't. And it's a BB going, like, towards me from his gun and hitting my GoPro. Oh, shit. I'll have to check it out. Okay. That's cool. Well, listen, brother, it's been awesome talking with you. Uh, I appreciate having you on. Thank you for having me. Yeah, dude. Uh, good luck to uh, you joining the, the new team and uh, and your NSL tournament stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. Babe. Yeah, dude. What? Um, tell everybody where they can find you on online. Uh, my Instagram is sqb underscore huddy. I don't have a YouTube yet. And also, before I go, I want to plug my sponsors. Uh, shout out to Raise Energy. Use code Hudson15. My phone almost dead. Um. Also, shout out Infamous Paintball and shout out uh, Jeffy Airsoft. Use code Hudson15 as well. I also want to shout out um, Lucky7 because he's one of my friends. Uh, DTP, DTP Frosty, DTP Voodoo, and uh, LSA. Awesome, man. Yep. Yeah, fucking shout out to all y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I just had uh, Hefe on. Hefe Airsoft, he's uh, one of your sponsors. He, I, his came out, I think, Wednesday, actually, a couple days ago. Yeah. Awesome, man. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you.